This is Tim with Digital Survival. Thanks for joining me today. We're playing Survival Fountain of Youth, a game by Odinsoft Incorporated and early access on Steam. Let's get started. We're not going to skip anything. Okay, no permadeath. I'm good with no permadeath. Difficulty normal. Let's start. So this is a game that I saw a couple couple recommendations for preparing for the council. And I watched one uh, one review, 45 minute review, and a tutorial. And that's it. So most of this coming into it cold and just gonna see what we can figure out what we can do here. I kind of expect to be able to interact with some of this stuff. What about this guy? No? <laughs> Ooh! That's... yeah. Okay, so right looks like it's a... a block of some kind? Oh, maybe put away my fists? Oh, this, this guy's a sound sleeper and I can't wake him up. I can open the door. So dark. Can't open these. There's something on the floor I'm stepping on. Can't even see what. Probably more benches. Because that's, that's what they have in the hallways on ships is benches. And loose lamps. Because that's not dangerous at all. about that. Oh. Ouch. Sneaky. Alright, we got another person here in his nice stripy pants. Looks so peaceful. So well manicured for a pirate. Or a sailor. Everybody's asleep. That looks super uncomfortable. I think he's dead. Why snoring? A wheelbarrow. That's at the bottom of a bunch of steps, so that probably never leaves the cargo hold. Cannon pointed at the side of the ship. I just climbed up on that without even trying. Bunch more sleeping people. An anvil? Underneath this guy and tools. How does he get out of bed? These... I don't even know. This guy gets up in the morning. He's got to be careful. Is this the same guy I was in my room? Probably. No door. Big door. At least these are tied down. Alright. Heading upstairs. I came out of my crouch. That's fine. Go to the bow of the ship. Got a dog of some kind. Is it bow or the stern? Oh. Got a loose feral creature of some kind. Can we shift to go a little bit faster? Here's captain's quarters. I have to have the captain's map open his door. Can't cross the velvet rope. All right, another sleepy, sleepy guy. Another cannon pointed right at the side of the ship. There, this, now that works. That's how you do cannons. They get tied down. Uh, okay. J Journal. I go to the battleship. Oh, I magically have a sword now. 
And we get to fight. Block right, hit left. Charge it up by holding. so used to playing seven days that I want to harvest the meat now. Okay. Can't do that. Okay. Alright, take the map. Where is the map? Oh, right here. On the barrel, of course. That's where we keep maps. It's on barrels. So these cannons aren't tied down. Which means you fire it and it shoots backwards really fast and hurts you. So don't fire those. Now I can go to the cabin. The captain's cabin. Uh, the walking speed in this is really slow. Okay, now we can open the door. the flint and steel which is where there's another thing okay so I'll pro I'm gonna read all this myself but I'll edit it and you guys can pause so you can read it if you want to <laughs> like how out of curiosity I drank the water from one of the bottles I wonder why old scars would heal. I was on top of... Oh, I was standing on the bench. Okay. Is this the flint and steel over here? Alright. Uh, this is what I want right here. I get this? Nope. Cool hat, spyglass. Water, probably. Sword, chair with a candle on it. A lot of unsecured stuff. Give you guys a chance to read this for a sec. And you want to pause it. Because there's no way I'm going to leave all of this in. This is bottom half. It looks like a sketch of the grotto. I like how with the boat moving, I am moving. So I am moving back and forth, which means I'm probably stable and the entire world is moving around me. That's fun. I'm actually turning my head at different angles to try and get a better look at this. Alright, what's my next thing? Place the map on the map stand. Yes, sir. There we go. And now I can point at it and look at it. And... Oh, duck. Duck, quick. Because that's how ships work. Survive the shipwreck. Alright, uh, I should save these books, right? Books are very rare. Or this water? I should get the water. Get the water? No. Not allowed to get the water. Fire, fire, fire. Everything's on fire. I'm not getting hurt yet. I don't think. 
Not my game. <laughs> I don't know why they bothered. <laughs> I don't know why they bothered to put this fire here. All they needed to do was like do something to damage or block the door. So this is as far as I can get. I am obviously in the fire right now. I can't grab the coat. The coat's not burning. There. Yep. So. Yeah. Well. That's just. <laughs> All right. Oh, don't forget to grab this. The sketch of the grotto. It looks like there's a thing on top of the mountain too. All right. Anything else I can do in here? Does this change whether or not I burn to death? No. Okay, now this is cool too. This chair tipped over, but the jacket is still hanging like the chair has its own gravity. Or it's really, really starched. That's a lot of starch in that jacket. That's probably why the captain isn't wearing it. Alright, anything else before I get my gear and go? Alright. Two items. Alright, so I heard that this is good armor and good weather protection. You're gonna end up making your own spear. And I'm a builder, so let's... Let's go with this. Activate the broken window. Okay. I am a klutz. The storm came out of nowhere. So the loading screen said caves and grottos are full of scorpions and spiders, and even if you kill all of them, they'll come back in a few days, which is saying respawn timer. All right, so I've got the captain's door, which is really buried in the sand here. Can I kill crabs with an axe, or do I have to do the spear thing? Oh, no crab is that fast. <laughs> you win this time, crab. All right. What can we do here? Interact. Narrow leaves and yellow leaves. We're going to add both of those that's going to take 25 minutes this is one of the things about this game it takes time out of your day to do stuff whatever you choose to do i think the long dark also has this same process it enter is that what is this key supposed oh space bar okay the harvest them all it took 25 minutes to do that Now, if you don't want to spend time harvesting, you just pick stuff up off the ground, which doesn't take any. There's an exclamation mark floating in the air over there with a book. Yeah, just pick up the stuff off the ground. We've got a health bar, food, water, electricity, probably stamina. Oh, and it shows when it's going down. So stamina is used just to walk, which is a little different than a lot of games I've played. I wonder if that's a long-term meter. Green coconut, find a green coconut. Yay. I know how to make green coconuts now. Pile of scrap. How much does dismantling cost me? It uses 12 durability on my ax. Okay, it takes two minutes. 1% chance of injury. Okay, I'm not going to do that right now. I want to know what it takes to repair my axe before I start wearing it out on things. And we've got a lot of scrap here that we should be able to break down and use for stuff later on. Can't just pull any of it out of the sand. Have to... I like how I don't climb in this one. A lot of uh, games, they'd have you put your hands on the rock and kind of mantle up. In this one, you just 
throw your hands up in the air and jump. All right. Yes, I'm pretty sure the grotto's over that way. From the little I've heard. Craft a craft green coconut opened. Let's, let's hit J again. Craft green coconut opened. I figure out how to open this coconut. It is time to try it. So I'm going to crafting food category, which we're already in apparently. Green coconut opened. Takes five minutes to open a coconut. Let's do it. I have an open coconut now. Satisfies thirst. Basic feature restores 30 water. So, now, how do I use it? Well, this is the blueprint, so now I gotta go to inventory. Gotta hit this. I can drop it or drop all. I don't want to drop it. I want to eat it. Where's my water? Oh, and this shows me down here, the green area shows me how much is going to be restored by drinking the coconut. If I take it off, then it doesn't show that. So that's good to know that I won't overuse it. Alright, my new goal is satisfying hunger. Find a shell. I assume there's going to be a... Yep. An exclamation point with a book. Extract the mollusk from the shell. Yeah, these are really small. Alright. So, Jay brings up my journal. What brings up crafting directly? I don't know yet. Do I still have a coconut? Or this is that's just the menu. That's, I don't have a coconut. No coconuts. Mollusk. Indigestion chance, 8%. That doesn't sound great. Okay. I thought I picked up two of these. Oh, golly. That, that looks like a larva. Or a grub. Ugh. Okay, let's see. We, okay, we were able to do two. So now we have that. We'll spoil in 1.4 days. Is there any way to cook this? Right, I do not want to eat this. Yeah, I... Oh, eat it. Okay, you're telling me I gotta eat it. Hey, okay, let's eat one. Ugh. Want me to make a stone axe, which means going over here. What I really want is a spear so I can start stabbing crabs. So some some games have you hold down the shift key to run. This one is a toggle. You hit shift, you run. Hit it again. You are not running anymore. All right, looking around, not seeing any hostiles. Interact with the tree. I can get tree bark and small sticks. Take 19 minutes to do that. There you go. Nine new blueprints unlocked with all that stuff. Nineteen. Kind of crazy. Harvest a stone. Go up this hill towards this book. Harvest a stone. From this pile right here. Interact with the stone pile. I can get all the stones if I want. All the stones is an hour and a half and it'll put me overweight. So I don't want all the stones. Let's get two of the stones. Two more blueprints. Okay, so here's part of my question. Do I need to remember where this stone pile is so I can come get the other seven stones? I'm going to need them eventually. Alright, create a stone axe. See his statuses. B isn't anything. B, N, M. M is map. Makes sense. X, Z, nothing. J is journal. U is fart? What was that? T 
he is asleep. Or spend time, I guess. Alright, I'd like to be able to get straight into this. Hey, what do we do? Forgot what we're doing. Read the stone axe. Alright, crafting tools. Stone axe. Craft. One stone, one short stick. What about the spear? Where's the spear? Different. Wooden spear. That's what I want to know. Long stick. Harvest a long stick? Well, that's just what I wanted to do. This tree has long sticks. Let's get all the sticks. Twenty-two new blueprints. Alright, craft a wooden spear. I think I will. Craft a wooden, uh, not a harpoon, spear. Stone spear. Obsidian. What the? I need for a stone spear. Primitive cutter and liana rope. To be a knife blade and more Leander rope. Okay. Alright, let's do this. 40 minutes. Craft a spear. Alright. Can be thrown. Base durability 30. Deals at least 8 damage per hit. Alright, so. Crouch and sneak to a crab. Wow, I am really noisy. I'm like I'm galloping down the hill. Oh, I've got the stamina thing at the bottom. There we go. Getting dark here. Oh, there's a crab. That is the unlucky crab with the magic marker above his head. Not magic markers in tip pen but you guys know what I mean how do I change what's equipped equip it with the space oh okay. oh okay okay so I'm gonna save my iron axe now just focus on my one and my two all right so crouch sneaky sneaky Charge. Throw. Oh. Nope. Char right. Okay. Right click is charge to throw. Left click is charge to stab. Oh. And then left click to throw. Oh. There we go. Let's so probably get another crab. Build a primitive bed of leaves. Okay. Crouchy crouch. Look how the spear stands up on its end after you do it. A okay, primitive bed of leaves. This is a huge amount of crafting stuff. Where would primitive bed of leaves be, do you think? Sorry, so no, not ships. Probably not house, not machines, maybe not, oh, no, buildings. This, the primitive bed of leaves is a building. And I have exactly enough stuff to do it, and so I'm going to just, oh no, place with E, not with a click. And that is really bright. It's like a glow-in-the-dark bed of leaves. I wonder how far away I can see that. That is, that's like the beacons have been lit. I wonder if I should put down beds just to mark my passage here. Okay, a, cr a couple crabs, several mollusks. 
Another small stick. Alright, let's take a nap. Okay, process duration 30 minutes. Oh, I've chosen a place for the building, then I need to fill it with the necessary resources and complete construction. So that wasn't a bed, that was a glowing marker for where I might put a bed. Place resources. And then build, it's going to take 30 minutes to build that. I, I'm not sure why it took 30 minutes to drop several leaves in the same spot on the ground. That's... Sleep for six hours or more. All right, six hours. So health is restored at three points per hour, which my health is doing all right. Obstacles less than 60 food. I'll lose, oh, I'm at less than 60 food right now. All right, let's see what happens. This is Tim with Digital Survival. Thanks for joining me today for part one of my Survival Fountain of Use series. Oh, I see a shiny thing. I'm going to have to go get that. If you like the video, please like, comment, subscribe, and or share. It'll help me keep doing this thing that I love. Thanks, and see you soon.